Hey guys, big boy here. Let's do a book review from my car. What we're going to be talking about today is an awesome book uh, by a man named George V. Higgins called The Friends of Eddie Coyle. Now, I have not really indelved myself into too much crime fiction, although I myself am writing a crime fiction novel called The Preacher's Warning. Um, so, basically going into this, it was completely strategic to get my feet in the water of how other published authors uh, go about writing about crime fiction. I did not know that The Friends of Eddie Coyle was going to be so amazing as it was, um, and it turned into more of just an awesome experience than a learning experience. But I did learn a lot. So our main character is Eddie Fingers. Um, or Eddie Coyle. Fingers is his nickname because he kind of had his left hand busted for a particular reason that I will not spoil. Um, basically, the book is focused on his friends, on Eddie Coyle's friends. Uh, but the funny thing is, he doesn't really have any friends. These are just people that he does business with, um, people that he respects, but not too many people really respect him. And Eddie finds himself in this terrible situation um, where he was driving a truck in New Hampshire. Um, we don't actually get to see this play out, but it is in the past of the story itself. He was driving a truck in New Hampshire. He got pulled over because the truck he was driving was stolen. Um, so he's kind of got a sentencing in New Hampshire in a couple weeks and he wants to get out of that he doesn't want to go to jail because he knows he's probably gonna get screwed over and get put in jail so what does he do he thinks of all the people he's friends with or friends with and you know who can I backstab who can I rat out on to save my hide so you kinda of see the dirty cop thing uh, we have a couple cop characters who he gets in touch with you know um, like, who's he going to rat out? Who will he rat out that will please this judge to not, you know, throw him into prison? Um, that is the overall point of this story. Um, and we get an awesome cast of characters, um, which I was kind of fearful on at first because a lot of his characters are just introduced really, really stale. Um, you don't even find out most of the characters' names um, for at least a good couple chapters of them actually being in it. They're just referred as the man, the woman, um, the stocky man. Yeah, Eddie Eddie Coyle himself was referred to as the stocky man for the first 70 pages of this book. Not even kidding. He's the main character and he wasn't even really named um, until page 70. So, I mean, you don't really get that much characterization at first. Um, but once, you know, we get farther into it, they really become livable breathing characters. This book is just 95% dialogue. I mean, you might get a paragraph every 10, 15 pages of an environment, um, of a setting. It's just really unique to see how much dialogue can drive a story. I mean, this book isn't that long. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's like 180 pages on the dot, I think. I'm getting so distracted from these people. George V. Higgins definitely inspired me to use dialogue more. Um, it's so believable. It's it's very vulgar, which kind of bothered me a little bit. I mean, it's just kind of a little bit too vulgar. I don't swear in any of my writing, um, but this guy definitely does, and it's kind of annoying. I'm definitely going to pick up the film from 76, I think. That's when the film came out. Um, I really, really want to see how they did with the film. I heard that I got a lot of good praise. So I'm really looking forward to watching that. So check out the uh, Friends of Eddie Coyle. It's uh, George V. Higgins' first novel he ever wrote. Um, and he did a phenomenal job for his first book. It's awesome. Um, go ahead, try it out. It's pretty awesome. Thanks for watching this review, guys. Peace out.